Hello everybody. Today I'm going to take a look at uh, the effect PWM rate has on the full throttle thrust of a few of these micro coreless brushed motors that we use in a lot of our quadcopters. Okay, I'm going to give a quick rundown of the setup I'm using. I have a benchtop power supply. This is set to 4.2 volts. I mean, the display reads a little bit low. I've checked it with a couple good meters. That runs through a uh, clamp-on uh, meter, and I have this set up to measure the current. And that's going right into a flight controller here, which I also have running off from clean flight. And that's driving a motor with a propeller uh, attached to a thrust stand here. It's not the prettiest thing, but it gives me consistent and reliable results. So I'm pretty confident in using it. All right, I'm just going to do a quick sample test to show how I have this running right now. I've kind of automated a lot of it using uh, some macros with auto hotkey. Okay. The flight controller connected up. Let's connect to that. Okay, now I just have some high keys set to adjust the PWM rate, so I'm going to go ahead and run one of those. And that's the number, key number one is to set it to 600. And I'm going to go ahead and turn power onto the flight controller. Go ahead and set this meter up. Get the scale on. You know, typically we have about a tenth of a volt coming through there with the flight controller on. And then if I just hit the uh, macro to run the motor test, it's going to ramp it up pretty gradually, hold it there for about two seconds. And uh, for some reason the current measurement was off in that, but uh, did see the thrust. I'll have to go in and set, I think I have the meter set improperly for this. But this is just a sample showing how the test is run. And I'm going to go ahead and repeat this across the range of uh, PWM rates. Uh, there's seven different ones, and I'm going to be going from uh, 600 to 32,000. We'll see how much the max thrust varies, and uh, then we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm uh, zoomed in on the meters of importance here. Got the thrust and the uh, current draw here. And then I'm uh, just going to indicate the PWM rate that I'm running with a screwdriver pointing at the uh, little sheet I have here uh, with them listed out. Then I'm also going to mention I'm running a, a CL0820-15 motor. I have one of the uh, Gemfan 65mm props on there. and uh, I don't think that's really going to make a significant difference, but I'm also going to be running a few different motors. I probably won't put them in the video, but I'll try to include the results at the end here. Okay. So I'm going to start out, reset my, uh, double check to make sure that my PWM rate's to 600. I'm going to go ahead and run the test. And now, just in case there's any question of these results, um, and just to kind of double check on the repeatability, I'm going to go through and uh, run it backwards. That will also verify, you know, there's no warming up effects or anything going on. I've run this test a number of times and I'm pretty confident in it myself, but I'm just going to do that for demonstration here. So we'll run the motor test again at 32.
So seems to be close to a repeatable three grams of thrust change, at least with this setup. And uh, it's going to be about almost 8% change in maximum thrust. So, uh, you know, something probably worth considering. But uh, if you have other, other opinions on this, uh, go ahead and comment.